Hi there crafters and welcome to a Minecraft Education Edition tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you all about cloning. How to clone and a build and place it somewhere else inside your world. Okay, I'm going to be splitting this into three parts. In the first part I'm going to explain coordinates. In the second section I'm going to explain the code that you can see on this board next to me. And thirdly, I'm going to show you how to clone this building and place it somewhere else. Okay, let's get started. I've just whipped together this very awesome uh, house. You can see that I've spent a lot of time on details. Well, anyway, I think it's so good that I want to clone it somewhere else. So, let's have a go. What is the first thing we need to know? Well, we need to know our coordinates. That is, where we are in our Minecraft world. So, uh, I haven't switched them on yet. I need to switch them on. I'm going to go into settings. Uh, go down the screen here in my game settings until I come to my world options and there you can see that show coordinates is switched off So I'm gonna switch it on Head back into the game and we should notice that in the top left hand position um, Below the my my um, Avatar you can see that it now says position and three numbers 20 4 and minus 7 so what are those numbers? Well, they're our coordinates. They say where we are in our world. All right, let's go over to this board. And I found some useful information that came from um, um, a make code tutorial. So I'll just read this out. Minecraft uses a set of three coordinates, which is X, Y, and Z, to specify position in a Minecraft world. Make code for Minecraft uses these coordinates in many of its blocks to specify where an action should take place. Uh, you, look, you can search the, the web for more information about the three-dimensional axes. It's just as in a three-dimensional coordinate grid in maths class, there is an origin point, 0, 0, 0, where all three axes meet, and the coordinates, x, y, and z, represent distances from this point. So, our current distance is 26, x, y is 4, and z is minus 6. Let's have a look. The X coordinate. The X coordinate represents a distance along the horizontal plane east or west of the origin, just like in real world longitude values. If you look at my screen now, as I move backwards and forwards in this case, you can see that my X value is going negative and then going positive. Okay, so our first number is the X. The second number is Y, and that represents up or down from the origin. So I'm going to go up in the air and you should be able to see that number value changing as I go up into the air. I'm now 20, I'm 30 blocks in the air and I'm going to come back down to where we are. Okay, so the second value is the Y. And thirdly, we have the Z axis. And uh, we can think about this as north or south. I'm watching my third value there change. So it's going negative there, negative, and coming back to where we are. All right, so they're the three coordinates, X, Y, and Z. It's the most important thing to understand when you begin to clone. Okay, second part, let's have a look at this code. I'm gonna go into uh, into Microsoft Word. Whenever I do any sort of uh, cloning, I find it really useful to write it out first in Microsoft Word or no, it wouldn't matter what sort of Word program you've got. Okay, so here is our code. Um, let's break it down. Slash clone is our command. Then we have begin inside my brackets here. That's the beginning coordinates. All three numbers, the X, Y, and Z. Here is the end coordinates. So that's where you want to begin the clone. This is where you want to end the clone. And here is the destination coordinates. That's where you want the, the build coordinate to begin. So you don't need an end destination, just begin. And now we have some different options, which I'll break down below. 
If you type in replace, you'll clone all the bricks and the air. If you type masked, you'll clone all the bricks but no air. And our second, last part of this is normal force and move. If you type in normal, you'll clone from the source to the destination. If you force, then if your destination overlaps the source, it will place the clone over the source. So uh, yeah, it'll just force it obviously. Yes, of course. And finally, you can move it. So you can pick it up virtually and place your build wherever you want it in a new spot. So if you're sick of living by the, by the sea, you can go into a desert, you know, change your biome. Could be anything. All right, that's the code. Let's now head back to Minecraft and start cloning. All right, so I'm gonna to need to know a few things in a few different numbers. Do, do, do. Right, the first one I'm gonna do is my beginning coordinates. I'm gonna to go to the left-hand side of my build and I'm gonna write down, and I'll go to this corner, this will do. And I'm gonna write down those numbers, 25, four, and minus four. Okay. Clone, 25, four, and negative four. Okay, look, I'm gonna take it from one block below. So I'm gonna go from three. Uh, so that means, because I put a floor in and I want the floor, so I'm gonna put it one below where I'm actually standing. 25, three, minus four. Let's head back. We're gonna take the top opposite corner. Okay, so look, I can go above it. It just doesn't have to be dead on accurate for this particular build. And I'm looking like 15, 10, five. Okay, 15, 10, 5. So, so far I've done the beginning coordinate and I've done the end coordinate. Now I need to work out where on earth I'm gonna place it. Hmm, well, it's kind of an infinite uh, block of grass. So yeah, I'm, maybe I'll just put it like uh, here. I could put it in the sky, that could be fancy actually. Yeah, I'll do that, 474. Four we can have a look at my floor. So, four, seven, four is my new coordinates. Look, do you notice here that I haven't got a comma in between each of these numbers? It is a space, the comma will not work, although when you look at the coordinates on the screen, it does have a comma. Okay, I'm just going to replace, because it's not a lot of blocks, and I'm going to go normal. Right, that's it, that's my code. Let's head back. Control C for copy. Alt tab to move back. Okay, I'll just get the front of my build. All right, here we go. Forward slash. There we go. Done. Oh yeah! Now I have an exact copy of my house, but it's up in the air. I've got two. Woohoo! All right. I'm gonna go back to our code and I'll show you one of the other functions. Let's see, where am I? All right, so I'm going to copy the first part of this because that's the actual bit that I wanna, wanna have. Okay, and then I'm going to find a new spot. This time I was thinking it might help if I show you how to move it. So let's move this over to just here yeah I'll move it there or actually why don't I bring that up higher that could be great yes I'll bring it up to the exact same height as that and see how we go what was that height let's go back I could then do do do, do. Ah, it's seven high so I'm gonna put my original coordinate there but I'm gonna put seven and then the negative four okay so I'm going to go uh, replace and then I'm going to move instead of normal dun, dun, dun. copy 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 this time I'm not going to bother taking my forward slash I don't need it right there you go aha see it was already there when I pushed my um, forward slash move yes ripped out of the dirt 
Oh my goodness, I must have had something slightly wrong with my code there because it's placed it over there and I wanted it to be slightly in the air. Oh my goodness, but doesn't matter because all I wanted to do was show you how to use the, the cloning function, which I now seem to have done. Okay, best of luck getting this stuff to work. I hope you enjoy cloning in minecraft education edition i'll see you next time